Hi everyone, my name is Kat and today we will be creating a work of art inspired by the Grey Matter exhibition here at Art Windsor Essex. Today we will be looking at the work called Face, also known as Sedna and Child, carved out of bone, ivory, and antler by Manasi Akpaliapik. Manasi is an Inuit artist from Nunavut who creates wonderful carvings out of natural materials, such as whalebone or caribou antlers. I have to constantly think about the legends and what the people used to do. We have no choice but to be more creative in order to keep that alive. That helps me to understand who I am, where I come from. Today, we will be thinking about our own feelings and emotions and how we can represent them through things within nature that's around us. Start by thinking of an emotion or feeling. It can be something you're feeling right now or something you feel pulled to work with. Here's a list of examples of different emotions and feelings that you could choose from. Once you've chosen your emotion, start to think about how you can represent this emotion or symbolize this emotion through something within nature. For example, the feeling of happiness could be symbolized by a flower sitting in the sunshine and being pollinated by a bumblebee. The feeling of strength could be symbolized by a tree with its strong roots, trunk, and branches. The feeling of anger could be symbolized by a thunderstorm, or the feeling of love could be symbolized by a mama bird feeding its babies in a nest. If you need some inspiration, you could watch a nature show or look through some nature books. Once you have your idea, it's time to start. The materials you'll need are any drawing paper, and any drawing materials such as crayons, pencil crayons, watercolors, or anything you have available. Have your paper in front of you and your materials of choice next to you, along with any reference photos of what you'd like to draw. I chose calm as my feeling, and I thought a sleeping cat in the sun would be a great way to represent it. I will be using oil pastels for my drawing, but I'm outlining my drawing first in pencil. That way, I can get the general outline of my drawing and erase when I need to. I'm following a reference photo that I found online. You can find reference photos anywhere, such as online, magazines, and books. As you can see, I started with a lighter color, and now I'm going to slowly build up to darker colors as I go. I find this easier to build up my shadows without getting too dark or too light. Now that all of my shades are done, I'm taking a white oil pastel and I'm blending them all together. It's important to set the scene of your drawing. My emotion is calm, so I added some daisies to complement the calm scene I'm trying to make. While you're drawing, think about why you chose to draw this. Why does it represent the emotion you chose? What can nature teach us about the things that we feel inside? I chose to add a blue sky with a little bit of purple to complete the serene calmness of the scene. When you're finished, you'll have a nature scene that represents an emotion. You can reflect on these questions. Why did you choose this emotion? How does your nature scene represent this emotion? 
And what can we learn about this emotion when we look at nature? Thank you so much for joining me in creating today, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye!